All right, in today's video, we're going to take a look at the basics of silicon controlled rectifiers, or SCRs. And uh, this was inspired by a post on the EEV blog forum by a user that was looking to create an, a fast rise exponential fall uh, circuit and uh, how to make this response. Uh, on the scope, uh, the yellow trace is the response that the uh, user was asking for. Uh, and uh, the blue trace is the trigger input. And uh, he really wanted the output to rise quickly regardless of whether the trigger input was short, like I'm doing here, or long, like that. But still wanted the circuit to respond with you know, just a, a, a fast rise and exponential fall. So I responded that uh, this would be pretty easy to do with an SCR, or a silicon controlled rectifier. So this video is just going to talk about uh, the basics of an SCR and, uh, and how it works and then how we put this circuit together. So an SCR, or silicon controlled rectifier, is essentially a diode that can be turned on and off. And then really it's kind of a bistable latching rectifier. And what we mean by that is that the anode to cathode path the normal, normal forward bias path of the diode is open circuited until the device is triggered and it's triggered by forward biasing the gate to cathode junction and once that's forward biased with a current that exceeds the gate threshold current then the diode or the device turns on and uh, then once the anode to cathode current reaches a certain value which is often called the latching current um, then the device will stay on even if the gate voltage and the bias is then removed. So, uh, and then once, as long as that current stays above what's called the holding current, okay, then the device will always stay on. If the hold the current through the device drops below the holding current, then the device will turn off. And sometimes the holding current and the latching current is, are used interchangeably, but really the latching current is the current that it takes to initiate that self-regenerative behavior that keeps it on. And then, uh, then the holding current is the current that you have to stay above to stay on. Now the way to understand the way an SCR works is you can kind of use this equivalent circuit. It's kind of a, like a four-layer device. If you think about this, if you just apply a voltage across anode to cathode with nothing at the gate. Um, essentially, without, without anything at the gate, there was nothing to turn this transistor on in the first place. If this transistor is turned on, there's no current flowing here, which means there's no current flowing out of the base of this PNP, so he's off as well. So it looks like an open circuit from anode to cathode. As soon as you apply some bias to the gate, this transistor starts to conduct. When it starts to conduct, it pulls some collector current, which pulls base current through this PNP transistor. When base current is pulled through here, current flows down out of the collector and therefore supplies base current to this device. So essentially this self-regenerates and turns on. So even if I remove what I had applied at the gate, we're still going to have current flowing from anode to cathode. Now this is not a perfect analogy, but it certainly shows you know, how an SCR basically works. So let's go take a look at it on the breadboard and then we'll examine that fast rise exponential fall circuit. Let's take a look at the circuit I have on the breadboard. So uh, we just have a power supply that's supplying about 9 volts here through a very sensitive uh, white LED. And that's going into a rheostat connected potentiometer variable resistor. Going in through my Simpson 260 hooked up as an ammeter another current limiting resistor, and the SCR. This is an NTE5404, which is a very, very what they call a sensitive gate uh, SCR designed for low-level circuits or low-level voltages and things like that, and uh, works well for this breadboard demonstration. And then I just have a, a 20K resistor connected to the gate with the, the other lead kind of flo uh, floating. And what that allowed me to do is to connect it momentarily up to like the positive supply to trigger uh, the uh, the SCR. So this is it over on the breadboard here. Let's see if I can get this thing here to focus. Okay. So there's the SCR, my 3.9K resistor, the 20K that's sitting on the gate, and there's that bright LED 
and the pot back here and uh, and then the ammeter so uh, if we take a look at this let's see if we can actually looks like I can kind of see how bright that LED is here so if you look at the ammeter we're sitting here on the about one milliamp of forward current all right because this thing is now triggered let me turn the power supply off okay we see the current drop turn it back on again so we can see the current has not come up here okay so that's telling me that uh, the device is essentially not on we can see the LED is off if I take and uh, just simply touch the, uh, the gate to bias the gate up I can turn that LED on so now even with the bias not connected the LED is on and I've got about uh, a milliamp or so of, uh, of current uh, flowing okay so if I can get the, both the ammeter in here as well as uh, the LED okay down here and if I start adjusting this pot okay we can see that the current is going down the LED is still lit the currents going down the LED is still lit. let me turn that over to the see if I can turn that over to the uh, camera here okay so as I keep turning the current down we can see the LED is still lit here now I'm going to get down to just below 400 microamps here and what you'll notice is that the ammeter will all of a sudden drop and the LED will go out. And here we go, right about here. Boom. The LED went out and the current dropped. But that, what happened there is that I went below the holding current for the SCR and it turned off. So if I uh, reset my pot and re-trigger it, I can turn it back on again. Okay. So that's basically how an SCR works. So let's take a look at how I use this to make that circuit that was asked about in the EEV blog forum. Okay, so here's the circuit that creates the fast rise and exponential fall that was asked about on the forum. It's simply a normally open switch in series with a 3.3K resistor so that pushing the switch will bring this node to the power supply, letting go will let it fall back down. We AC couple that signal into the gate of the SCR. Uh, so that when we first push that switch, we'll get a, uh, a fast pulse you know, through this capacitor, which will basically turn on that uh, and bias the gate and turn on the SCR. As soon as the SCR gets turned on, uh, it's got a very low impedance. It just has a voltage drop across it, so it charges this capacitor very quickly. So as it charges up, you reach a point where as the capacitor starts to reach full charge, you're going to start basically collapsing the voltage across this device and the current starts to decrease right as the once the capacitor reaches full charge the current goes to zero so as soon as that current goes down below the holding current to the SCR the SCR turns off it's open circuit again so now we've got that fast rise but as soon as we're done charging this device turns off and now the capacitor will discharge through this resistor so that the exponential decay is really just a function of this uh, RC time constant. So let's go take a quick look at how it works. Well here it is on the bench. So there's the SCR, the 10 nanofarad cap, 3.3k resistor, the switch, and then the other resistors and capacitors in here. So if we take a look over at the, uh, the scope, so we can see if I just push the switch quickly, okay, and I'm just doing about as quick as I can here, you can kind of see even if I've got a short little pulse, you know, that uh, on the switch, I get the fast rise and exponential fall. Even if I push and hold the switch, okay, for a longer period of time, maybe even longer, okay, even longer, we can actually see that I'm still getting that same response. Whether I do a short little push, or short little pulse, or a long pulse, uh, we're still going to get just that single rise and exponential fall. And that's what uh, was asked about on the forum. So again, kind of an unusual application, or not probably not a typical application for an SCR, but uh, but a nice excuse to take a look at SCRs and see what they're all about. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks again for watching. Comments are always welcome.